Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode we did pretty much everything that we can do on day one and it's only 4.20 p.m. At least according to uh, thoughts, it says I think I've done all I can for today. However, something odd did pop, on the, pop up on the map for a reason that I have no idea. It's at Lara's place. The clinking of dice can be heard here. I don't think that happened in my last playthrough. I don't know what triggered it. I'm really curious. Let's go. I also kind of just have to wait for people to not want to kill me. If I want to really go anywhere in particular, like I definitely want to buy no hair again, but I can't go here to buy them right now because people will beat me to a pulp. Oh yeah, we're just leaving Bad Grief's place. We just told them about the bloody lockpick we got out of piecework and the other person and the fact that we killed them. And this is Var, right? Yeah. So you're a trained surgeon. Good. This is good. Shame that your esteemed degree is of no help to me. I'm just gonna be rude as fuck. What do you need, Gramps? How do I put it? I have a certain need. But now that old Burrah is dead, no one can help me out, including his son. Don't even offer. Okay, I wasn't planning to. See ya. Let's head over there. The clinking of dice. I'm scared. It's a bad omen. It really doesn't sound good. I'm pretty sure this didn't happen before. What is going on? Off our prompter. You are too quick, kind sir. You pace ahead of schedule like a man possessed. Let's see. The next event of consequence is set to come into your life tonight. Later. Oh, so they appeared because I finished stuff too quickly. Because I know what I'm doing, because I'm playing this again. How can you tell which events are of consequence? I was a fortune teller's own assistant. Though some thought him a fraud, I saw behind the curtain, awed at all I witnessed there. So trust me when I say, there's time enough for you, Burrah. For now, at least, there's time. So do I just sit around and nap until evening? Why sleep? So much to do, so little time. If you can find an hour or two to spare, then make the most you can of precious time, for bitter fate demands that you prepare. Explore the town and fill your pockets, quick. Your time is short, and no one knows what tide tomorrow brings. Oh, I know. An ill tide. Does something else get marked? Or is it just that the mark disappeared? Yeah, it's just that the mark disappeared. Interesting. Yeah, so if you do things too quickly, it kind of hints that, like, hey, you can't really do much more tonight. You just have to wait. But there's some other things you can try to do. Fill your pockets. Okay, practically speaking, though, what do I actually do? Because I can't go too far or people are going to try to kill me. I could rummage around in trash cans... Uh, I could sleep. I could sleep for a couple hours. My exhaustion's high enough. Yeah, might as well get that out of the way now, right? I've got time to kill. Let's use that to sleep. And I've got morphine to take, so I should be more well-arrested than I otherwise would be. After I sleep, I should be more hungry, so I can maybe get rid of some of this inventory stuff. Oh, it's such a burden, isn't it, to have too much food? Get out of my inventory of food, I want to starve. What dream is this? What dream is this? I didn't have this dream before. Hey. Rat Prophet? Why, why am I here? What prompted this? Being too quick? 
sleeping a second time? Oh, look at how they have the blanket all bunched up there with their hands. Or paws. Or whatever they have. They're quite the sleeper human. Yeah, I think it is from sleeping a second time. That's so interesting. <laughs> this game is so weird and interesting and you just never know what the heck's gonna happen. I need to rest. Exactly. You'll sleep your whole life away if you're not careful. Time and tide. Tari, or Terry? Terry for no man. Remember? Quality proverb. This isn't life. While you dream, the town lives. Someone out there waits for you this very moment. Perhaps they wait in vain. Is my hint clear? Don't be surprised if you wake up and find every train has left the station. I'm not easily shaken, little critter. See, here I am, talking to you like all this is normal. Duh! Alright, that's creepy as hell. I don't like that. Time moves forward while I sleep. This way, I may skip some events. On the other hand, if I have nothing to do, sleeping is a good way to move things forward. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really to skip right now. So interesting. Now, I have that eternal question of, do I need to take morphine again? Because I only slept for like 20 minutes? I don't know. I should probably store some of my food here. I'm not, I really didn't get that hungry from sleeping. Uh, I don't think I should eat any of this, honestly. Hmm. Okay. I think somebody warned me against storing stuff at Lara's house, but I mean, I did it before and it seemed fine. Let's put everything in here, uh, food-wise. Except for the smoked meat. I'll keep that, because that's relatively compact and will feed me a lot. If I lose all this food, then I'll load my game. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. It'll be fine. So, when do people not want to kill me? When does that happen? Probably at 20 hundred? Twenty hundred, is that right? Twenty hundreds. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Twenty hundred. Just sounded weird. 8 p.m., let's say that. Well, going with the assumption that in 15 minutes people are going to stop hating me, let's uh, start heading over to the bowl. Go this way. Peanuts for two. Oh, I got a bunch of chalk. The fingernail. An egg. How much is all this chalk worth? Yeah. An egg and a fingernail for a bunch of chalk. Heck yeah. Thanks, kid. Peanuts for four. Peanuts for a needle. People don't hate me here, right? No. Ah, so you are Buras heir. I am. You're one of Olgimsky's men now, right? Big Vlad said anyone who touches you will be in for a world of hurt. He's a complete stranger to me, and I don't need anyone to intercede on my behalf. It's unwise to get in his way. Bos is a powerful patron. Don't let him down. I'll stay on my toes. Thanks. 
not getting rid of the grindstone. Is it, uh, can I repair anything? I only have the grindstone. I need a chisel and a razor blade thingy. Move along, or I'll scream. What? Have I wronged you in some way? You're a cold-blooded murderer. You killed our protector. You're a walking clue, fella. Bloody clothes, foreign face, and you stink like a railroad. Rumor has it, that's where the murderer hid. Were you trying to escape? Skip town? What protector? Who are you talking about? You know who. Move along, I said. I have nothing to talk to you about. Stop glaring. I'm not afraid of you. I'll scream. Okay, why don't you then go ahead? You'll still trade with me, though. I don't want to trade with you. I'm kind of going the wrong way. People do forgive me at in like four minutes, right? I think. I'm unwelcome here. But that's not the same as hated. I think that means people won't really like trade with me, but I don't think they'll try to kill me. Yes. It does happen then. The town hall is no longer looking for me. Whew. Okay. Wait. All that remains is to wait until the coast is clear. Why is there a marking at, uh... Vlad's place for that. That's a little bit strange. Huh. Anyway, let's go get no hair. I'm gonna have so many bottles ready to make tinctures. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Fishing hooks. Two fishing hooks for a fingernail. Heck yeah. Alright, oh, they like bandages. Bandage for pemmican. Hmm. Hmm. It's nice to have a bandage. I don't feel like it's that important right now, though. I'd rather stockpile food. Yeah. I've got good health. I'm good. Thimble? Match? Nah. I'm unwelcome here? Ooh, man, it really, really hurt my reputation when I stabbed those people in here. Even after the reputation boost, I'm actually unwelcome here. They're not going to try to kill me, but they're not going to sell to me or trade with me. I'm not sure if stores will sell to me, but I think people won't trade to me. That's fine, though. It's just a little... It's a really small section. It's not that bad. Anyway, I'll turn them around. I'll make them like me. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, like, you won't trade with me, right? Yeah, trust too low to trade. Almost to no hair. Contrary to their name, they have quite a lot of hair. Messenger. Hmm. Ah, right. You want me to talk to... Or Big Vlad wants to talk with me. What for? Okay. I'll come by when I can. Thank you. The high and mighty of this town have finally taken notice of a burrah. The witch hunt is over. Yeah, I'll head there right after I purchase no hair. Mm, don't want to get rid of this, the tweezers. Spring. Nah. Alright, where's my buddy? There's my buddy. I really didn't understand what you said last time. About a grave. Remember when they told me something about a grave? Do not kill. The tomb, grave, something. But I still want you. Because you're a good boy. <laughs> Buy my bull. Uh, why would I want a bull? Can it talk then? Remember, I'm going to talk him down from like an absurd amount of money to a reasonable amount of money. 
So you're selling a curse on four legs? Great, I'll take it from you if you pay me. Okay, price is now 200. <laughs> I don't even have a place to keep it. Fine, here's the money. We'll see if you keep your word. They do. Hey, boy. Be seeing you soon. Now over to Big Flats. Oh, that's where the bodies that I, uh, for the people that I killed at the train station, that's where they're kept. That's why there's a bunch of birds over there. Hazelnuts for a spring. Eh. Money is the sinews of war. <laughs> and love, too. Really? Money is the sinew of love. God, I hate you. That familiar old face. You know, I remember what your esteemed father looked like when he was young. I am, after all, only 15 years younger. He was a very decent person. He had a real spine. Yeah, I'm not going to kiss this person's ass. This is the person oppressing the kin. Working them to death and ruin and... Fuck this person. I guess that's not going to be playing it any differently than I played it before, really, because before I was like, fuck this person, but... Fuck this person. What do you want from me? Come now, I don't want anything. You are the one with wants, and I suppose I'll learn them soon. Then why did you summon me? I'm getting reports you're a villain, my boy. A murderous villain. My people are upset that they couldn't do you in. They're an ugly mob, aren't they? So small-minded. Animals. Beasts. Swine. At least you slipped away. Perhaps I should stand up for you? I don't need help. I've already dealt with the whole mess. Well, partially. Now that's more like it. An independent lad. Just like your father. He despised patronage, too. Always by himself. Wouldn't even take my advice. Wouldn't bow to anyone. Shame. A supple backbone can be useful. It can improve the situation for everyone. Do you know who killed him? Not you, that much I know. But we'll find out. Soon enough. Soon enough. So why did you summon me? My power is immense, boy. Have you forgotten? Everything you see here is mine. The whole bull enterprise, the abattoir, the factory, the warehouses, the station. This town's veins are my veins. Or, sorry, this town's veins are my reins. It's meat and bones, my throne. I am the master, and I expect to be obeyed. You don't own me, Bose. At least, take my advice. I'm always eager to help Isidore's son. Stay here a while. Don't go out. My house is big. Plenty of space. If you need anything, just call the servants. No, I won't be caged. Done with everything important for today. Free to rest until tomorrow or explore the town. At night, its face changes. This early on, do we have people out at night uh, with knives and stuff? Hurting people? Does that happen yet? Uh, someone must be punished for this sin. Stop running around, my boy. No need for you to leave. I won't chain you up, but believe me, out there you'll just make a mess. Where's my father? I need... I need to see his body. Well, he might have been put in the ground already. Your people never linger with the rites of death. They bury the deceased immediately. Like a seed, yes. And if you take too long, a seed won't sprout. Where do they bury my people these days? In the new cemetery? There's no such thing as your people anymore. Yours, ours. We're all just people. What's past is past, so we're all buried together. Your rights are still different, though. 
Your kind must be buried in the morning, yes? Father didn't think the past was in the past, and neither do I. Listen, are you planning to avenge your father? Why do you ask? Kine is eager to condemn someone, Sabarov, to execute. I, however, I'll make sure we find the right person. Yes, the right one. The right one is the one who killed him. It's not that hard. You're probably off to a pub now to drink to your father's memory. The twirine poison flows wide in the broken heart. Stamaton runs a good business. Will I allow it? I don't drink. Not now. Oh man, that just did a bunch of stuff. Father's funeral will take place tomorrow at dawn. I'll hardly have a chance to pay respects to him until then. Go to the Broken Heart. Okay. Man, there's always so much to do, isn't there? Okay. Before I go to the Broken Heart, and considering the fact that it's nighttime, I think I want to go grab some Twirine. Or Twirine, what? <laughs> Twirine doesn't grow out of the ground. <laughs> I think I want to go grab some, uh, some herbs. Yeah, we'll do it back here. Can see them easily because it's at nighttime, and then hopefully sell some of them here. Not exactly sure where I'm going to store them, though. Do items left on the ground stay? Like, could I just drop them in front of here and then come back for them later? Uh, that sounds risky. Mm, my hunger's high enough that I could eat something. Let's have the pemmican. Oh, it's actually not quite dark yet. Meow. <coughs> But it should be soon. Should I... I should be buying... Uh, I should probably be buying food, huh? To stockpile it. I do have a bit of money. 1300 Yeah. Well, I can buy some from the bartender, I think. They sell some food. Let's just go get herbs. I don't think the price increases tomorrow. I don't think it really increases. Well, actually, maybe it does because the train stopped coming and bringing in food. People are worried about starvation even before the infection. Hmm. I could go to the shady shop. I just don't know if they maybe have inflated prices there. I'll, I'll check. If they're obviously inflated, then I just won't buy them. Oh, you're the ones checking the lady for clay legs or whatever. Are you harassing this woman, scum? No, we treat her with utmost respect. We're on duty. <laughs> on duty? But we never had any kinds of patrolmen here. We're the Sabarovs people. I'm Isidore Barra's son. I've returned home after six years. I'll send my regards to your father. Tell him that Peter the Nightjar sends his fondest regards. There's no point in sending him kind regards anymore, Nightjar. He's dead. That makes for an awkward end to that conversation. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't stop at the shady shop. Do I want to do that before I gather the herbs? Ah, ah, whatever. It's a quick stop, it's fine. Fresh meat for four fifty five. No, I don't think that is an inflated price. I think that's what it was in other places. Oh man. God, it's so cheap. So fucking cheap. I'm going to buy as much as I can. Yeah. 
I'm kind of eyeing the smoked meat, though, because it's not particularly large, and it stacks with what I already have. I don't know, coffee would be good, too. Um, I don't have anything to sell. I don't think I want the milk. That's kind of large and awkward. I mean, fuck, I should get the fresh meat. I think that restores, like, almost your entire bar. It's so good. Let's grab the coffee. Hell yeah. Chestnut's only 53, yeah. A lemon? The lemon I don't think is worth it. I don't think that gives you very much food or wakes you up very much. Yeah, that is so worth it. That's so ridiculously cheap compared to what it is later. Honestly, I don't think food is going to be a problem between stockpiling food this early. And I'm going to try to get the best reward from the fund every night if I can. And I think you can get food regularly from Lara's place if you set up the uh, the shelter doing the water thing. I think someone said that. That won't be for a while, of course. But yeah, I think I'm going to be pretty good on food. Easy peasy. This game's so easy. Never gonna die. Not a single NPC is gonna die. I mean, you know, named NPC. A lot of NPCs are gonna die at my hands. I really am curious if leaving stuff on the ground would stay. Do you think it's unsanitary to just plop my fresh meat in the dirt and pick it up a day later? Is that bad? It's probably bad. Because picking up herbs is going to take up a lot of room. I think that's enough room for all the different types of herbs. They're too tall, right? Show me those little glinty bits. Wait a minute. They're not here, are they? Oh. They don't appear yet? What makes them appear? What does make them appear? How strange. Are they even at the Crowstone? Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna go there. Because there used to be a bunch around the Crowstone. Maybe this early on, the only way to get herbs is with blood. Yeah. You know what? It's probably not until I'm given my father's inheritance. Right? Like, I think that's really when I come into my own and, I don't know, like the earth starts speaking with me or something. Yeah. Man, look at all those jumpy little jerboas. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Cute little things. Well, in that case, uh, I don't know. I really don't need to sleep. I guess I'll just go to the pub and talk with them there. Dang, it's a shame I can't really make more money today then. This town is kind of relaxing to explore early on before the infection comes and before things get extremely stressful. could potentially make some money if assholes are out. You know? Assholes are just out? Are there assholes on the streets? I don't know. Ah, both Stamatons are here. Just stay away from me this time of year. Come to think of it, keep your hands off anything here. Okay. Ha, huh, what a face. A loser's face. Look who's talking. The rabble is out of control. At least they looked human before. Did you hear about the stabbings? There's people with knives out in the streets now, brother. Ah, okay, so they are out. Well, good. Good, good, good. They should be easy to take on right now. Full health, no health cap or anything like that. And they should have stuff for me to sell. Yeah, first I didn't believe... At first I didn't believe my own eyes. 
I mean, I'm quite an artist with a knife myself, but that's different. Everyone knows I obey no law. These people, there's no wholesome fear left in them. Kniving is taboo around here. That's why I love this town. But you know the tricks of the trade, don't you? I can tell by your hands. I'm a surgeon. It's part of my job. You're a dangerous man. I'm a dangerous man, too. We can reach an understanding if you behave yourself in my establishment. Those people with knives, are they still trying to avenge Bura? I don't even care. If they come here, they'll regret it. He who lives by the knife dies by the knife. Such people are outlaws. Killing them incurs no punishment, only gratitude. Judge Kine said so. That's fair. Only a butcher has the right to cut flesh. No one would condemn me for killing bandits at night. I might even be rewarded. Hmm. Bad twirene makes your head feel like lead. Good. Good? <laughs> There's a gleam of goodness in your eyes, my friend. Drink with me. All right. Everyone says Twyrein heightens the senses, but I think that's only true of hearing. Vision, no. You won't see anything new. It is an absinthe. No smells, either. This place reeks of herbs as it is. Hearing, though. What about hearing? Just drink, and you'll hear how the town sounds. You'll hear who's calling you and from where. You'll hear a murmur from afar. Perhaps from across the Gorhon, or perhaps from across the Styx itself. Drink to my health, friend. This is excellent, Twyrein. There's no such thing as bad, Twyrein. I can afford this kind of joy. So what do you do? I was once an architect. Now I'm just a shadow of an architect. Likewise, only I used to be a doctor. My name is Peter. I am the rock upon which is built the stairway to tomorrow. To the day when man lifts himself from the earth and overcomes its burden. I am that rock, and I've already built the first step of that stairway. For I am a true architect. And I'm Artemy Bura. Let's drink to my father's memory. A good man. Drink, Bura. Drink your twyrein. Listen to the world. Listen to the roar of the terrible earth. Listen to the ringing of the sky. Listen to the town opening for you. You'll find out where people wait for you. Or whispering about you right now. It's been proven to work. Thank you for the valuable gift. I'll return the favor if I get a chance. You know, seeing all this again... It reminds me of just how good not just the introduction sequence is for this game, but also just how the first day does a really great job of like really cleverly integrating all of these things that teach you the basics of how the world works. You know, like drinking with somebody at the bar teaches you about Twyrein and yeah, it's just, it's really, really well done. Should I drink them right now? I guess. Sure. Wait, I just drank two and it only highlighted one place? What is that sound? Is that the rain from outside? Is it that loud down here? Or is that the twirine that I'm hearing? Anyway, uh, I believe that's the place where the cache is that has a weird note in it. I love how that looks and sounds. Bountiful harvest? Hmm. Oh, I thought you were an herbalist here to sell herbs. Do you buy twire? 
We're not just interested in twire. Ash and swish, swevery, white whip are all, of course, more rare, so more expensive. You value time, huh? We've only got two weeks until September ends. We're now in the golden time of harvest. We need to stock up for the whole year ahead. How much do you pay? It's different every day. Okay. Black twire today. All right. Yeah, you sell food, but I don't... Uh, I mean, I could buy the toast. That's fine, right? Toast is decent. Speaking of, can I eat? Yeah, actually, let's eat that toast. All right, let's see if we can find people to kill to get some money and buy some more food before the day's over. And then, yeah, I guess, I guess let's just head over here to where the town is calling me and see if I can find assholes along the way. Sounds good to me. How's my knife? It's doing terrible, but I can use my fists, honestly. I can't repair it, right? No, not even close. Grindstone would be nice. I'm not going to trade a thimble for it, though. What are you doing out this late? It's a little bit odd. It's a weird bundle, but I can't do anything with it. Actually, they're kind of staring at the bundle, aren't they? Is there a quest that has something to do with that or something? It's very suspicious. I'm going to mark that on the map. Love the music, it's so good. And I have so many bottles and I'm so happy. This game feels so relatively relaxing on the early days. My god. I feel so bountiful with everything. I feel like I'm rich in pathologic terms. You don't need money to be rich in pathologic. You just need a shit ton of water bottles. Oh, and it's a good thing that I'm here, actually, because after midnight, there should be a play, right? I think plays start on day one. Oh, and I missed some plays in my playthrough, because I didn't really have time. I was like, damn, I'm going to die, or I need to try to help people, or I need to sleep, or whatever. I think I missed at least two plays. I don't want to miss any this time. Immunity booster. Wouldn't be a bad idea to start collecting those. Um, a beetle and a spring for an immunity booster. That's worth it. Thanks, kid. Wrinkled note. Whoop. Two fluffy tails for a teapot. Needed soon. The tails are good as new. TL every noon. Still don't know what that means, but this is a cache. Let's add some hazelnuts. I want the kids to like me. Now I can my immunity booster for a lemon. Let's not do that. <laughs> um, well, I kind of want to just kill time around here for an hour, I guess, until the play starts and I can maybe start killing people. I'm just eager to start killing people. And yet, when people say I'm a ripper, I'm like, I'm, no, I'm offended. I'm not a ripper. I'm a surgeon. Hey, do you have any people for me to kill? do for an hour around here. I guess just loot trash cans in the area? Do a circle? Stop kicking trash cans! Jesus. Kids these days. Bountiful trash harvest. They did a very good job making it look like there's an inside in there. Through the window. Very, very good job. 
I think what it is. I don't want to pass too much time staring at this window. So it's not like the entire interior of the house displayed. That would just be way too computationally intensive. It'd just be super laggy and, you know, the game obviously doesn't load the insides of houses until you go into them, hence why there's a bit of a loading weight when you go into a door. But I think what it is, is there is actually a room there. It's a big empty box and I think it just has some really low res like flat textures on the inside of the box to make it look like what a room would look like and then it's got like kind of frosty glass sort of to distort it but I think it's just some relatively low resolution textures on the walls and there's like no geometry in there at all but it looks so good it's very convincing I've got about 30 minutes Yeah, I think right about midnight, the people are going to come out. The people with knives, I feel like, like they probably will just instantly be swapped out. And all the other people will despawn, so I need to make sure that my stamina is pretty high when that happens. In case a bunch of people spawn right on my ass. I have a ridiculous amount of bottles. I have, I have 30 bottles on me already. Oh my god. Think of all the tinkers. The little tinkers I can make. Jesus Christ, that was loud. Some opportunities have been irreversibly missed, but sleep is not the only option. Certain events will unfold at night. New pantomime. Um, for the past 24 hours, seven people have died and three have gone missing. Time flies faster and faster with each passing day. The day is over and night falls. In that brief light, something will be irretrievably lost. Well, nobody spawned right in front of me. Let's just go watch the production. I didn't miss the first day's production, did I? I don't remember. Please welcome the actor, Artemy Burach. Let us examine him. The will is present. Emotions? Sure, there are emotions. <laughs> Intellect? Well, no one expected a miracle. Fuck you. Not from this specimen. He's no true human, but a larva. Just like all the larvae we've seen here lately. Pardon me, I shouldn't have been so rude. You are, after all, the star of the show. How should I act then? Here's some advice. Actually, the only advice that matters. Try not to die. Ever. Do you understand? Like, never ever. At all. Or it'll turn bad. Not just for you, but for all of us. And why is that? It would wound the world. Irreversibly. And the world, it's not in the best shape as it is. So I'd kindly ask you to do your very best. Work hard. Take care of yourself. Where are the other two? The bachelor and the girl. They're waiting for you to exit the scene. They want to learn about their fates as well. You know the future? What's mine then? Oh, I can't help but pity you. Look, there will be a happy ending. You'll even believe that you've won. No guilty conscience either. So relax, man of fate. Next. Um, what do you mean? Next. I had several paths and liked none. One had me as a beast man, another as a hunchback. The third, as the indentured servant of some outside force. Our theater has seen better days. The repertory is getting stale. Same play over and over again. It's beginning to get on my nerves. So you don't have much stage property. This place looks empty. We have a ton of step theater costumes in the storeroom, especially those wicked birds, Mu Shubun, the ones that symbolize death. Do step people like the play with death? Not really, they just have a different attitude towards it. Curious. But I'm not interested in costumes. I'm interested in showing the authentic relationship of man and death. 
Stage props are unneeded for that. What one needs is a method. What method? I want full authenticity. I will move the play outside into the streets. Actors play out real events while being in the middle of them. The audience doesn't know they're in a play. The actors that they're being watched. Such is my method. What's the point? The actor must understand how to work death. I'm not making this one for the audience, but for the actors themselves. Their inner world is the stage, their worldview, hence the uh, unusual methods. Unusual and rough. It's the theater of cruelty. Is the outside not cruel enough for you? It's a different kind of cruelty, not the one you're used to. Being unforgiving towards yourself, mostly. But you need not concern yourself with this. Why? Look, I do what the subject demands of me. I'll set your tasks gradually and uncover the method step by step. Else you'll sabotage the process. You're here for an addition, after all, aren't you? Me? No, I'm just curious. Just... just curious. Dead item shop. Ooh, it's right by us. Um, how many dead items do we have? Four... Broken ampules. Broken scissors. And... that's it. Eh, I mean, it's something. Let's drink water and not sprint too much. Because I think the bad people are now out. Are you a bad person? I don't think that's a bad person. They just suddenly got up. I was worried they were going to, I don't know, run at me or something. Did I skip past the dime shop? No, I'm right here. What the hell? It's a convenient place to die. Oh, this is to help teach me about the broken item, or the dead item shop. Right, I missed the dead item shop on the first day, I think. I think I maybe missed it for a couple days. So on the first day, they even teach you about how it works by having a dead person here. And they have a bunch of broken ampules and a bloody bandage. Uh. Shit. Oh, um, I should take their blood. I don't have an empty bottle. Let's make one. Meow. Hello. Ah, my fellow traveler. I suspect this is not the last time we chat. I recognize you, so you're a merchant. I dabble in buying and selling, but have no use for coins, though I find I often have two to rub together. I collect things, things that are old, broken, traces, I'm gonna skip a little bit of this. You're a rag and bone man? Mm-hmm. Good luck with that. Alright, what do you got to begin with? Actually, first question I should ask is, how much can I get for all this stuff? They really don't give that much for the broken scissors, but, eh, I guess it's fine. They even like lockpicks? Very, very, very little, though? I wonder if they pay more for them the more broken they are. Maybe. Meow. Meow. Okay, the ring is great for selling, and they don't even want that much for it. It's probably worth like a thousand or something. Hmm. If I get the fresh fish, where does that leave me? If 
I get the fresh fish, what does that mean for me? That's fine, I'll just... wait. Oh, I didn't give him all the scissors. Well, in that case, I can get a twirine. I don't think I want that taking up inventory space, though, to be honest. Ah, whatever. No, actually, no, I really don't. The fish is going to take up enough space as it is. I don't know. I'll get the revolver ammo. Sure. Thanks. Death. I'm actually super hungry. Let's eat the fresh fish, then. Okay. Um... With that done... I'm gonna want to sleep at Lara's place. Let's gradually head towards Lara's place to maybe sleep. Like, I'm a little bit exhausted. And I don't have that much more to do. Let's hit up the grocery store, sell the rings, see if I can buy more food, see if there's people to kill. Prices haven't gone up yet, have they? I don't think so. I can get a bread for 500. Oh, that is so good. 420 for the ring? Man, prices fluctuate. I remember at one point you could sell these for like 800 or 1000 or something. I think. Could just be misremembering, I guess. Unless other places pay more for them? Hmm. I'm kind of curious if like a clothes store would pay more for rings. Well, let's go to this clothes store, because there's a grocery store right next to it, and it's right next to Lara's place. I never really looked super in-depth into how the selling system works as far as prices go. Like, for example, if I'm really well-liked in an area, does that mean I get better prices? Do different shops give you different prices for different items? Like, will a clothing store give you more for a ring than a food store? And I think I see a bad person over there. Yes, I think I see white paint on their face. Hey, buddy. Oh, even better. Don't loot him. Oh. I got the stuff before they looted. Whew. Otherwise, I would have taken it all. <laughs> All right, let's see if the clothes store will pay more for a ring. Oh, Jesus. Stop right no. There. No. Oh, whew. Oh, I managed to avoid taking any damage. I didn't expect one to be in the yard. Yes! Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. They do pay more, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's because they're a clothes store. No one cares about you. No one cares about you. Hmm, it probably is because it's a clothes store then, not because of reputation. Unless it's a smooth scaling of reputation. By that, I mean these both have the same text description. No one cares about you. But the actual, like, exact percentage of my reputation is probably a bit different. Perhaps it scales smoothly, where if one place likes you just a little bit more, then they'll pay just a little bit more for stuff. Or... Maybe closed stores just pay you more. Let's check. Let me go to the grocery store next door. Oh, there they are. Calm down. Eh. Oh, come on. There we go. Whew. They look like they're fighting somebody. I guess that person. The sleep-deprived person on the bench. They were backing away, though. <laughs> Afraid of him. I guess because they look like a zombie. Oh, I don't have room for that stuff. Hmm. Uh, I'm probably going to come back for that. I feel so good about this start of the playthrough. I feel just absolutely giddy. 420. Yes, they do offer different prices. That is... Very, very nice to know. Because that's a big difference in price. Ooh, why are you running? Somebody to fight? 
No, just running away. I don't know what just happened there. Sold the ring. Now let's see what food we can buy. It's got to be something that's going to stack. More fresh meat? Oh my god, I can afford another fresh meat. It's a disgusting noise. <laughs> Can I afford anything else? Hmm. Anything that's gonna stack specifically. Oh, I should probably buy peanuts. Because those are so cheap. They're not gonna stack, but that's totally fine. I got the space from. I have so much food. Oh my god, Lara. Lara, check out my food stash. I'm just gonna store all of this food in there too. In that little uh closet thing, I guess. In Lara's place. And when Lara Lara's gonna like open it not knowing what's in there, and then there's just gonna be a bunch of like wet, oozing, raw meat and stuff. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be nasty. Hey, Laura. Yeah, see? My stuff's still here. Alright, these are going in there. They're huge. Egg. How's my hunger? I could eat something. Look at all this food. Oh my god. Okay, I should eat something. Uh, let's do toast. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. That is so fine. It's very, very fine. Crappy lockpick, other lockpick, I only need one lockpick on me. I also don't need a million waters. And I don't need my leash on me right now. Okay, and with that extra space, let's go grab the other stuff from the person that I punched to death. I'm no ripper, I don't rip my enemies, I punch them to death with honorable pugilism. people to punch? I guess I should probably just sleep, huh? Mm. Exhaustion's maybe 60%. Let's take a morphine. Three hours? Probably should do it. Yeah. Perfect. Almost all the exhaustion gone. Hunger's a bit higher, so I should probably eat something. Um, I guess I should eat the bigger stuff first. Stuff that's going to take up more room so I can take the more compact stuff with me. I can't eat a fresh meat, though. So, like, fresh fish. Let's eat one of these. I still can't believe how much food I have. Oh my god. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I am setting up the rest of my playthrough. Like, I'm, I'm starting on such a good foot that I feel really, really good right now. I mean, things are going to get way harder. But, damn, is this a good foundation to start on? almost to the start of day two and I have an entire cupboard full of food probably enough to last me like that's probably enough food to last me a full complete two maybe three days probably three days that's so good so I hope you've enjoyed so far and when I return well I mean my stats are perfect I have almost no hunger basically no exhaustion max health good immunity that's all good so I have a couple hours to kill before the day fully starts. I guess I'll just 
collect more stuff in garbage cans and look for more people to pugilistically defeat. Get some more loot, sell some more things if I can, and buy some more food. 